need to drown today. But it's going to be nice to see how things turn out. And I guess it'll be good. Thing. I got plenty of extra flashlights, <laughs> yes. I got about three, two or three of them for you. Let's do a head count. <laughs> Ten people today. I do. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking the wrong guy. Just for emergencies. Are you? Did you need some? Just one. Oh, My nose is a oh, at the cabin. Woo. Okay. Are you coming up to the cabin? The here? haunted cabin. Woo. <laughs> we have ghost stories. One flashlight and some secret only. Stay the night inside. <laughs> for the shelter. <laughs> this Say, hey, Alan, how old is this place? Yeah? 1873 or 70. Oh, wow. 
Amazing. Um, the mine we're gonna go to? That was his mine. This is the guy that owned that mine. Oh, wow. This is the guy I told you about that, um, did you hear the story I told you? Okay, real quick. Okay, real quick. I'll tell they know, but I'll tell you real quick history of this cabin. In Civil War, there's a guy named Tom, I forget his real name, but he went by Tom Vincent. He was shot in the leg and got an honorable discharge, took the money, and he bought some land in Arizona. They're prospecting there. Did okay. But they came back to the cabin one day, him and another guy, and somebody was ransacking their cabin, stealing from them. They shot him. The little guy died. So now they thought, we're going to be one of us, please. Let's get out of here. They came to California, changed their name, Tom Vincent, and started prospecting here. Hit it, hit gold here. There's a mine, a piece of a mine up there, but there's a big one in Baden Powell. Used to be six miles a ton. Gold. Gold. All, all gold in this one. In this range. But, um, uh, they lived here 40 years. Actually, he did here for 40. The other guy only lived here like 20, 25, and then he split. But, um, he had kids. He'd go down in town and stuff, and he had kids down, just getting started down there. And, uh, he, uh, here is his friend, there's a picture of him out by the biggest trees on the window. <laughs> no, no insulation, right? Yeah. yeah. But, well, there was a fireplace right there. Yeah, yeah, the fireplace, and then they... He shot the one, dropped it, the other guy shot one, dropped it, the third one came right at him. Yeah. Fell on him. But I mean, I'm sure, the, I'm sure the cracks weren't the there back then. I'm sure the, the wood types of shrink and things over time. It's kind of weird how they look at it and he built it in the upper town. He knew he died. He went down into Long Beach and said, look, I am Barrel Wright. I served in the military. This is my real name, but I was one of my police. There's never more for your rest because earlier that year, you could shoot claim jumpers. So he hid for 40 years under his name for nothing. Thinking. So later on, he had a son, and the son was down there, and the son buried him. But if you go look online, Tom Vincent, he searched through all the different churches, and way down, I think it's the 13th or 14th one, there's a picture of his bed that he slept in the Long Beach. He slept in bed. But he slept or he died. But this is his cabin that he lived in. So, Tom, what? Vincent. Did he die wealthy? Oh, the mine was doing great. The mine was doing great. Really good. But he did die wealthy. I'm sure he did. It doesn't say anything about how much. No, I just got one thing. Is it all cut to use? Well, I think it's, yeah, a lot of it's um, stuff they found outside around here. Metal detecting, and they bring it in here and leave it here for history, you know. Yeah. Like here, pieces of metal. He probably used for, you know. I, don't, I can tell. Oh, that looks like a flat top, too. The old iron uh, oven or stove top. So this was a flat round piece, and you put the hook in here, and then you would lay it on top of the stove, and then you can cook things on it. And then you would put the hook and take it off. It's basically like a manhole cover, but on an old iron stove. So that's what this is—a piece of that. It would just you put a little hook, like a handle, and then you put the plate down. And then you can cook things on top of that with a fire going in the neck. You know, so that's a piece of that. Again, somebody probably metal detect. And when they find certain things, they bring it in there. Yeah, yeah. it's all mining stuff. Yeah. There's mining towns and small. You have, tell us the truth. And you'll find a lot of There's an old mining town in Rosemont. It's but it's a part of the province. You can't go in there. It just started all up. It's ice cold. Oh, so yeah. no way you can hold your breath long enough. <laughs> yeah, way. it's a shame that people actually do that though, like all the time. Because yeah. everybody's gonna do it, and you end up ruining it. Best thing to do is just post it on Instagram. So I've been here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, is even a door right here? <laughs> is it? It looks like one. It's a uh, uh, with a fireplace. fireplace. Yeah. Fireplace. Yeah, you can see in the oh, back. No. It looks kind of like one. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got a little brighter. The roof's been replaced because of a fire pipe. I found fire one. The roof's been replaced. Let's go. You can see some of the wood here, yeah. Picture. 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 Oh, cool. We have to. Uh, so there's more over there. What do you have?
Don Knotts. I do miss that guy. Yeah. And Mr. Lippitt. Oh, Mr. Lippitt. He did a lot of Disney movies, yeah. yeah. He was a, a, a shy guy. So what, what was the top built again? I think 1879 or 1873. Let me grab one out here real quick. Oh, and then, uh, Yeah, that's the It's like one of those, cute, yeah. It's one of those cute. Ins- it's one of those cute Instagram posts. Bear ducking. Man bear pig. Okay. Man bear pig. <laughs> Pack it out. <laughs> Emergency <laughs> lip balm. Before or after you take it is the question. <laughs> oh, you still sort of need to taste, but not for long. Crop me in. <laughs> Zoom out. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, fell down. Hey, 
Hey, no monkey business back there. Too late. Where did look? Where did look? It's a fire in the herd. Like, man, the pig. Oh, 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 I just need a good match with him. I get thunder. Thunder and lightning. I to call of lightning when I was young. I had a work here. Hey, 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 hey. We need, Shake. we need a sacrifice. Uh oh. He has more meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we need to be alive. <laughs> Four years, seven months from the gods. No volcanoes around here. Shelter. Yeah, I got that on video. Shelter for it. Then it'll live there. He's a, what would you call it? Autoplay? With pictures of me. Aerospace. Aerospace. Where? Aerospace. Red. Small aerospace company, Red. We need parts for Boeing, Douglas, and SpaceX. There'll be no shelter here. Someone had to fire her recently. That's how this place burned down in the first place. They don't know how to do it, right? Sure. Oh, I have something too. 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 Chip it out. No. Grind it down. Pan it out. Bridge nowhere. So now we're headed to uh, <laughs> the owner of this cabin. His mine. Big word mine. Bridge nowhere. Bridge nowhere. Or I could bring my metal detector, which is also in my car. Find a place where he hid all his gold. You know? <laughs> I'm not, I don't say I get bored easily. I just like to. Sample and dabble in a lot of different things. For instance, I, I brought my drone today, but I don't think that's going to work out today. <laughs> it's not rated for this kind of weather. <laughs> 30 miles per hour wind. Goodbye. 
Yeah. <laughs> You'll find it on top of Mount Baldy. Uh, go back up there. It's stuck up there. It's like 60 miles an hour away right now. Yeah. Nobody knows. That'd be interesting if you find somebody's lost drone and then like look at the footage and see where it started off. It'd be great. Good shape, actually. Yeah, it's a little rainy the top or top? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which way we walk. Yeah, you can tell it's somewhat fresh. Yeah, it doesn't look new. Tree snatched it. Mine looks. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the snow there? It is. Why don't you use this one? Oh, I don't need it. You sure? Okay. I'm getting tired of holding too, is what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 you can hold it off. Uh, you can hold it off. Amateur. Off for you. So it's overkill today, but I decided to bring it just in case. I fly up here. Flying none. I literally just leave all my stuff in my car. She says that now, but on the way back up there, it might be a different no, story. On the way back, I bounce. I bounce. Sorry, I'm sorry. You guys went in and breathed it. Sorry. So we took this guy backpacking. He did backpacking with the military, etc., etc. So we get here. We're going down, Monica and I, and uh, oh, uh, Louise, that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're coming down, and he's lagging behind, he's lagging, he's lagging. So we're going to mine. Who is this guy? What's hiding? Scared him. We're hiding. Uh -huh. How did he get so far to the end? <laughs> oh, he lost his balance. He bent down, his trick pole fell. He went to light his cigarette, his glasses fell. When he get that, and every time he's backing up, backing up, he's backing right on. Oh my gosh. And then we get the next morning, we come down here, we get there, 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 yeah. He practically yeah. dragged him the entire way down. Where did you go? To back to Heaton Flats. Oh, that's down. right. So this will lead you to the bridge tomorrow? It'll, uh, 15 miles down to Bridge Nowhere, 5 more to Heaton Flats. Oh. Oh. Does it have a trail? No. I think I asked no. you about that. In, in places here and there, but most places no. So you're pretty much good. <laughs>
Wow, look at this, guys. Pretty neat formation here. Can you see the iron oxides? And the different minerals inside here. Layered. And if you look here, you see a, a zone that has quartz here. And uh, I believe that's called contact zone. Where the heat pressure of liquids go inside this cracks and uh, they form quartz, crystals, and gold likes to find its way in there too but yeah definitely the dolomite and all kinds of other oxides some of the small quartz veins here it's pretty awesome Here's another example of the contact zone here. If you look up here, you notice the rocks are darker. Heavy mineralization. I mean, even the dirt is broken up from this uh, not sure if it's shale granted but wow the colors are amazing sand <laughs> I don't think we're going to get any drone shots today with low visibility high winds and some sleet hail and rain so sorry about that folks This is what the miners used to uh, hold up the rock formation. Wow, guys, this is one of the entrances here. So, this is one of the mines here. Looks like it's missing a bar, but it's definitely flooded here. You can see uh, the water coming out of it, so... So we're almost at the main mine shaft. Uh, you look, I don't know if you can see, but uh, here you got some scrap metal. And to the right of that, uh, most likely either a water or a compressor pipe uh, going through there. And, uh, you know, it probably led all the way back down over the mountain. 
Uh, down there, there's a concrete base uh, foundation, and I think that's where a winch was at with the bucket pulley system. Uh, most likely to just pull the ore down, process it, um, and supplies. So, you know, I might have taken this trail down and back around. That's a lot of work. I'm not sure if he's the only one that built it yet. Um, it's right up there. Um, I don't know if he built it and he had people working for him. I would assume so. Because it's just hard for me to believe like one man could do all this work. Trestle down there, pipe work. So it looks like they hauled a lot of the either uh, combination of ore or um, a lot of the uh, all of the trash rock out straight down. This is pretty high up here. It gets hailing on us. As you can see, I hope you can see all the hail. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Feels good. Here it looks like uh, one of the ventilation pipes into the mine. I can't see the view out there.
you can see the trestle in here it's made out of steel instead of wood you find a lot of the wood ones in the desert out of old wood ones but here you can see the roof collapsed as well and it does got all iron reinforcements so it definitely seems to stand uh, the test of time except of course the wood roofing and guarantee you'll find some rocks above that that happen to be smashed from rock slides so Yeah, flashlights. Yeah. And here you got some more shoes here. I got an extra flashlight. I'm going to have to uh, change out my gear here. 